Welcome to WRL Broadcast. I am Hate Mail. With me today, we have Tootitron. That was me saying hello. No, you didn't say hello. No. Okay. <laughs> we didn't hear you. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had TD on. A real I long am time. Back. Yeah. Um, and an even longer while, this guest we haven't had on. Everybody knows from Reddit for his famous art, Silver Fox. Hey. And we'll also have Zuzu joining us. This is, I guess, I think this might be, I haven't figured out how exactly I'm going to do it, but this episode will be released as part of the end of days, which I think we're calling it Crisis in DC Legends. Cause Zuzu there was once a different crisis that never happened. Yeah, so well, this will be the Crisis of DC Legends because this is a true crisis with the game ending. And um, Zuzu made me some interesting logo stuff. He, some gift things he was creating that I thought was pretty fitting for it. So um, maybe we'll have Silver Fox if you want to come up with anything for us for the episode cover. But uh, this will be the first of I've working with, with Zuzu also. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So you're already, you're already on top of it. So Zuzu will be joining us probably in about 10 minutes into this episode. But we figured we'd get rolling. And um, with the game ending, I want to have as many contributors, names... I'm running out of time, which is not good. It's been hard to wrangle people up, actually. I kind of thought it would be easier for people to say goodbye to the game, but I think a lot of people are just, like, done. They've already checked out. I mean, I haven't really been playing. I know the only people, two people I know that are kind of still playing was M4, and I think Silver Fox, you're going nuts still. I'm pushing balls to the walls. I'm trying to hit a million in my United account, and I'm trying to hit 500,000... In my PO's arrows, I expect to hit both on Friday. I yeah. couldn't imagine having multiple accounts, let <laughs> alone in the final month. I know you—you you were definitely a dedicated fan. Are you? Uh, well, well, most of you guys have jobs and families. I'm retired. That's fair. Very true. Sometimes I feel like I'm retired. I do not feel like I'm retired ever. <laughs> well, mine wasn't by choice, but I had to fill the hours somehow. That's fair. What are you going to do now? Uh, well, next week I'm going to Charlotte for a week. I'm going to hang out with my brother. We're going to do the Renaissance Festival. And after that, I got no flipping clue. Yeah, you were showing me that. That looks super cool. I've never been to a Renaissance Fair, so I kind of want to go to one more. Oh, they're, they're great. You know, I mean, there's nothing like walking around a crowd of people carrying a mead on a Sunday morning. That's fair. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, if you're ever wondering if it's a cool thing to do, just think Bucks and Bays, <laughs> Imbusiers, <laughs> and beer. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds right up my alley, so I'm definitely on board. Tootie, have you been playing at all? Um, yes and no. I have this, like, desire to do, like, a memorial video um, for DC Legends. And I was going to do, like, a two-hour-long thing with every character model, all of their skins and animations. But, honestly, I cannot find the motivation to, like, just finish the models. Like, it's... It's taking a long time. There's only like 12 days left, so the animations are not likely to happen, but I'm going to try and do at least the models um, of each character. Uh, I was trying to RB5 everyone, but that's not going to fucking happen because... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It says the end of days. Can we get rid of our family rating? Um, oh, yeah. It, I, I mean, I don't know if you listened to the one with Stanner on the other day. I did not. Oh, okay, yeah. She She kind of destroyed that. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> so awesome. Like, whatever. Um, whatchamacallit. So, I am going to do that with all of the character models, and then I'm probably going to stop after that because um, I don't see a competitive point in doing so anymore. And I'm sad that, like, for some reason they kept limits on some of these sales, which is ridiculous. Yeah, it's stupid. Um, it's like the icon sale, for instance. Like nobody is gonna have him RB five, unless they bought him enough for him to be RB five when he came out. 
um, he has not had a sale since that month until now, and it was limited. So where everyone is fucked on that. Yeah, and I wanted to try him because he's looked like a fun character. I was like, oh, I might mess around with him, and then I saw that I couldn't take him on RB5. I'm like, this is stupid. Because I, exactly. I spent a ton of time just one afternoon buying rebirth tokens and shards and making sure I could take everyone RB5 and when I realized everyone couldn't be RB5 it just like ruined my interest in the game I was like alright this is stupid I'm not even going to try Yeah, because it takes so long to gear out all the characters Silver Fox I'm guessing you geared everyone out that you could to the max well I was 80% gear 11 <clears throat> before they an announced closing so it didn't take much to get me over the edge it still takes a long time to RB5 everyone though that's what because I was uh, RB5 I'm I think I'm down to nine tunes that are not RB5. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty close as well. It just takes a long time to sit there and push the button over and over. And I just—I was happy they did it in mass. Like they were like, "Here's every character for this genre and every character for this genre." And I was like, "Thank fucking god!" Because I do not want to buy every goddamn sale individually um, as they come up, but. Um, even so, for some reason, they left characters out. Like, why would you do that? Just fucking put them all in there. Um, <laughs> I almost that... wonder if they had forgotten to post a Mysticals group. <laughs> I don't know. I think yeah. they just wanted to disappoint us one last time. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Seems to be. And I don't like talking shit, but at the same time, like, um, I got to that point. The point where, like, um, everyone was G11, level 80 all their abilities maxed out. I did that like back in May, essentially. That's kind of when I stopped making videos. I stopped like checking in. Um, AAD hasn't said anything to me, but I almost stopped raiding almost entirely. Like I tried to get to like a hundred bosses, but sometimes <laughs> I failed miserably. I got like three or four. Um, and I was just like enjoying summer and life. And then they dropped the bomb that was over. I was like, oh, well, honestly, perfect timing. That's kind of how so. it was with me. I, like, literally was about to announce my retirement from the game right oh, before shit. that happened. Like, I was so close because I hadn't, I hadn't played hardly at all. Like, at all. I mean, when I went on that Alaskan cruise not too long ago, I didn't even log in once. You say you were going to retire, but you've said that for years, so I wonder. No, if this time was legit because, I mean, I, <clears throat> I think it was 15 days that I didn't even log in one time. Oh, okay. So, and I hadn't, I hadn't played Siege in months. I hadn't spent any money on the game in probably four months. Yeah, it just felt like the right time, and somehow they knew that. I mean, I didn't even gear the new characters, like none of them. But, I mean, the dog one, Crypto, wasn't done. That was a whole bunch of them. I never even played once. So I was going to gear them and just try them one time because I never used them at all. Right. Just before it ends, which I still haven't done. And I'm, like, it's getting imminent. So... <laughs> and it was not really worth it, sadly, but... Yeah, I just kind of... Well, I know. That, but he's just an example of a bunch of the... Like, I was just going to go through the list, because there's a lot of characters I never even played one time. Right. That's fair. Over the last six months. So, I just wanted to... Like, oh, what does this character do? I just wish there wasn't so many freaking dick teams in the game. Oh, I know. It's like... Let me try these characters against just a normal team. So I figure if I refresh PvP enough, I'll find a couple here and there. Hopefully. Occasionally. I haven't played PvP in a while, so I don't know how many Atrocitus's and Supergirls are still out there. There's so many. I mean, the last time I went in there to mess with it, it was like my entire board was either that or, you know, Cheshire and Trigon. And I'm just like, oh, Spectre. Right. I'm like, really, guys? Really? Well, that's why I gave up on, on the Wraith Arena, but Blitz always did did good for me, and so did uh, Coliseum. Yeah, it seems about right. I don't even know if I've ever tried Coliseum. <laughs> it was just Blitz with a different name. I know, but I don't, I don't think I've ever logged into it. Because I never did. I never did Blitz, like, ever. Like, even when I was playing regularly, so... I'd always do like two or three, but like fights, just to, you know, hit the leaderboard. And um, after the first Coliseum thing dropped, um, 
and the, I glitched out. I like was one of the people that didn't quite get to a hundred trophies, but I still played. So like it's been fucking up my mailbox ever since, and they never fixed it. Um, so I'm just like, you know what? I'm done with all that shit. It's gonna get fucked again. And I'm normally an optimist, but you know they are killing the game because it's time, and I <laughs> kind of agree. Yeah, I mean, I honestly wasn't. <clears throat> I, I wanted them to do one of two things. I wanted them to either do a major, like, hey, we got a bunch of resources dedicated to the game, we're fixing all the bugs, we're bringing out the new gear level to balance everything, but we're going to make it easy and release a bunch of new stuff. You know, like a, a, re, a big refresh of the game. Sure. Or kill it. Like, it was, it was, they needed to do one of the two. Yeah. I kinda, yeah. I'm still hoping that they'll do DC Legends 2, like, starting in january or june just a give me three months off and i'll be ready to get rock again i don't know if they do it that soon to be honest with you i could see it happening but it'd be like a year from now well the what is it dark legion or something that's nothing um, like dc legends so it looks like it's a turn-based team setup game it just has like more fast-paced action like Marvel. no it's uh, from what i'm told by people that are in the alpha beta it's mm-hmm. like a idle RPG where you don't control the characters and you just punch oh. and attack and interesting. So I'm not. I don't know. A lot of people that have played it don't like it. So oh, sure. I was I was on a podcast with um, the guys from um, Order of Saint Dumas, and they were playing it, and there was a lot of walking between areas. It's like giant characters walking along city streets, and then, oh, we're somewhere. Actually, Zuzu just joined us, and I think he has played the beta. Zuzu, have you played Dark Legion beta? Yes, I have. And welcome, by the way. Hello. So, what did you think of the beta? Um. Okay, so it is a base building game, and it's. It's like, will people compare it to, uh, say, Fallout Shelter? Oh. Um, so a lot of your building your characters has to do with building your base. Like You can't get so far until you increase your base levels and whatnot. And uh, it's not really linear as in like going from stage 1-1, one, 1-2, one, 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 You're free roaming around a whole map to find those missions or whatnot coming in across encounters of little you know random thugs and whatnot and uh it does have a tune roster and it's more like the animation or the design is more like what you would see in a comic book i guess you know um but that is the only similarity to dcl is that it has a tune roster other than that it is a base building city building type game that you would Normally, you would have, you would have downloaded from Tabjoy to finish to get your gems. Those kind of games, mm. you know, uh, it's it didn't have much, but that it didn't have any PvP. But then it was, like I said, I got it. You know, uh, I got to play it before uh, a beta test, so it didn't have much to it. But from what I saw, it's something that you're gonna have to like farm and keep going and keep playing and whatnot. It's not the kind of game where you you waste 129 energy and come back 8-9 hours later. Yeah, I don't know it's about that. It's not that kind of game. Interesting. Yeah, maybe I won't be playing that then. I don't know. I don't really need a mobile game in my life at this point. Um, <laughs> it was definitely draining on my funds and like you could tell like as soon as I stopped spending money on DC Legends. Like, I had so much money to spend on other things. I was like, holy shit, I have 500 bucks in my pocket more a month. Like, um, and I am just kind of enjoying life outside of my phone, which is, I think, refreshing after so many years. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, when I stopped playing so much, I was like, I could frivolously spend more than I ever could. I'm like, yeah, it's definitely nice. Having the ability to just, and then just the, the, my biggest problem with DC Legends is I didn't mind, like, I enjoyed playing Siege and stuff because it didn't take too much of your time. It was raids. I despised raids. 
Yeah, right. I love raids. <laughs> they just they were t- I, so time consuming. Yeah, I always feel good because I was a weekend worker. Hey, hey oh, Mel, I'm, 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 I'm just gonna be honest right now. I'm just gonna be honest right now. Hey, Mel, I feel like you retired from raids maybe months ago, five, six months ago. Oh, I did. I barely played, <laughs> <laughs> and I still hated them just because I felt bad that I wasn't participating as much as I should, and I didn't like that pressure. What were you going to say, Silver Fox? Yeah, I mean, when I was doing raids, I mean, I'd lay in bed. I have a lap uh, table. I'd sit there with my iPad and my Droid tablet side by side, and I'd be raiding on both devices for 8, 10, 12 hours. I loved it. Damn. But no job, no life. You know, I I live in my apartment. and I mean, yeah, uh, you have time. Sure, it sounds like you're a good team player and everything, and it sounds awesome. Um, I just never had the time. Well, no, people that have jobs and families and kids, you got other priorities. (laughs) I just happen to not have the other priorities. I'd always try and get some stuff done on, like, Wednesdays and Thursdays for the Alliance, just so that I didn't feel guilty on the weekends when I didn't do anything. Um, But... Also, that kind of died off as well, just because it, it's so grindy and it's so boring. Yeah, it's, that's that was my biggest thing. Well, especially the last several months, it got worse and worse and worse because the, you could kill the bosses so much faster. So I didn't mind like if you press it and you could look away and kind of pay attention to something else, look back over, and it's like, okay, the boss is almost done, and then press it again. But then later, the bosses, you would kill them so fast that you had to constantly pay attention to it. So you couldn't really multitask. And that was when I really just started becoming disgusted with raids. Because it was just so ridiculous. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I, uh, I have some big plans now. So I'm happy. I, uh, I'm going to pivot my channel a little bit. It's going to be more family and friends oriented with the potential of a bigger audience. Um, I'm going to try and be like, put also, I'm going to try and travel a lot more. I'm going to France in July next year. Um, I'd like to go to Japan and I'd like to go to Switzerland and Australia and all these other places. And I want to get a GoPro and everything so I can like record things and kind of make more like, I travel alone. I don't really go with other people. So then the, I can share my trip with people a bit more. That's really popular, actually. There's, a lot, of, there's a lot of channels that do that, that have massive exactly. followings. I'm actually and going then I'm to also, Italy next like September, a, too. Yeah. I'm also a bartender, and I have a very creative process um, with creating drinks. And they generally like do... Um, well, I, so I just started a new job in like February for my bartending gig, and um, it's a very creative bar. Every like three months or so, we change the menu, so we submit drinks to the new menu every few off every few week, months. Excuse me. Um, and I would love to make videos on like the creative process of developing them. Like I do a lot of research and development. Um, my next, I've got two drinks coming coming up for the winter menu. One's going to be like a Bloody Mary, in. Um, in a martini glass, which I know is unpopular, but I think it's a better portion. Um, I'm gonna call it the Sangre del Sol, the blood of the sun. Um, and then the other one is gonna be like, it's called a pump noggin. It, we have these little rocks glasses that have lines all around the edge of the rocks glass. And then I'm going to fill it with like a pumpkin flavored eggnog that's gonna be orange colored. And then I'm gonna put the garnish is gonna be a sugar cookie in the shape of a pumpkin top and I'm going to put that on top of the glass, and it's going to look like a head of pumpkin. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But That's that cool. is what I'm going to try and pivot my channel into. Well, Which that... unfortunately means I have to get rid of a lot of DC Legends videos. I still don't think you have to get rid of them. You can put them in a... It's a yeah, Tootie, I, re- I remember this discussion, man. You should always just keep it, man, just for the memories, and you just never know what you could use it for. I might private them instead of delete them. That's fair, but I don't think I want them visible to an audience, especially if my like 
close family and friends are being the people that are actually looking at my channel now. Because right now, I had a few friends that knew about it that just literally hit um, follow to add to my follower count, my subscri subscriber count. Yeah. But they never watched my shit because it was weird to them. And I was fine <laughs> with that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to have like more people that I actually know watch these. So we'll see. Well, I think in the short term, WRLL will pivot to DC Heroes and Villains, which is the perfect game for me right now because it takes... You can really spend 15 to 30 minutes tops a day. Uh, it's hard to actually spend more time than that. And it doesn't really cost hardly anything. So it's just a good little... I can play quickly, kind of get that hero collection itch out of my system, <clears throat> and then call it a day. And it seems like they're adding stuff that might be more intriguing later. So I figure it's a, it's a good uh, bridge to... Unless something better comes along at some point. And I find the same thing, man. I have so much more time with... Uh, I mean, I'm barely playing DCL, you know, and, and DC Heroes and Villains. You're right, it takes 15 to 30 minutes. So, you know, sometimes I find myself staring out there wondering if there's anything left to do. But, I, you know, there's nothing to do, so... I got so much more time to do things around, you know, real life. Yeah, but Zizi, like, you put so much time and effort into this, like, way more than I ever would have dreamed of putting in because of all these competitions and pictures and stuff. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, like, this man is going to have free time galore. Hopefully he just, you know, smoke a doobie and relax, you know what I mean? Like, call <laughs> no, when you when you were talking about your videos and stuff, man, I was thinking about all the stuff that I've done, you know, like all my banners and, and challenge images and contest images, you know, I still have all of it right from the very beginning, you know, and like, what do I do with all that? But I'm going to keep it, you know, and just uh, know, you know, these are the things that I did. Make like a big collage out of it, <laughs> you know. Put uh, it on your Also, just keep it, archive it somewhere. I mean, think about all the graphics I've got from the weeklies to the raid graphics to the top oh, everything. I mean, nice. yeah, you know, Silver. Yeah. If you uh, want, if you want to send them, if you have a big bulk file, I'll just like let them go chronologically in the background of this video. I could. I'll I'll think about how to do that because I mean, there's what fifty-two f five pointer graphics. A year times yeah. five years. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, if you have them in a folder, just upload it to like Google Drive, and then I can download it. Okay, I'll I'll look at that. Yeah, if it's something see what I can do there. If you want something to do, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you have but right um, now. I'm still pushing for the million and the half a million. Yeah. You have a little bit of time because I don't want to. I don't plan to release this until the last day. So I am okay. trying to get. Silver Fox over here to uh, start working on uh, little arts for heroes and villains. What I mean, he's done so much for DCL, and I don't want him to to not have anything to do, you know. And, and I'm just trying to. I'm thinking my ways to, you know, have him make images for whatever events that might come up, or even new tunes or whatnot. Yeah, they, they, it's know. very similar to DCL in the fact with their events and stuff. So. Think so you might be able to find some things to do, Silver Fox. You, I mean, it's... I, I might, I might. Um, have you played it well, at all? I'm not leaving the community. Uh, I've played it a little, and the whole match three. If I'm going to play Candy Crush, I'll play Candy Crush. It's not Candy Crush though. Candy Crush <laughs> players would hate the game. I don't know. I am kind of with Silver Fox on this one. Like, I just the the match three con like concepts it just is so boring to me like it doesn't it's, like you said it's like 15 minutes a day i did that for a week and i was like i have zero desire to like do this on a consistent basis yeah i mean i play everything on auto mostly unless it's harder but, which is like why would you even play the game at that point you just yeah you know, i mean it's more about collection and setting up you know comps and stuff that's what i mean it's, it's kind of a little, little less brain power game i'm hoping so that I... when they do pvp it's a little more involved but I feel the same way, man. I, 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 I never really liked Match Three, and I still don't like Match Three. But it has aspects of DCL that are keeping me into it. I mean, when I say that, I don't mean the gameplay. Obviously not. I really want my turn-based four v four gameplay, and it's not it. 
it's never going to compare to DCL, but it does have alliances. Uh, they're called guilds. It does have PvP. It does have... I mean, they're mini raid bosses. They're guild bosses, and it will have raids. It does have a cool tune roster. These are things that DCL did have, and the fact that it does have guilds or alliances is what's keeping these alliances together. That is something that's really important to me. I like to see the people that I, I raided with, I, I mean, for seven years, basically grew up on the game with, stay together. And it's actually doing that. These alliances are moving over, and it's, it's a nice thing to see. Um, uh, there's about eight of us from United that are all in uh, Lord of the Rings. And I'm piddling with it and trying. And even though I read Lord of the Rings in 75 for the first time, I'm having a hard time with the game, just getting motivated. I think it could be kind of a morning for DCL. Yeah. I haven't tried Lord of the Rings yet. I kind of wanted to because I did like the book series. I like, I've always liked fantasy genre. Um, the game did look a lot more similar to DCL with the you know actual gameplay itself, so I thought about trying it. I just I don't know I don't I don't particularly want to get deep into another game right now. I'd like to, you know I like messing around with DC Hero and Villains, and the only reason I kind of like it is because it's so easy and quick. Um, I don't well, want. One of the big things with DCL is I started reading comics in 1968. I was three years old, and I literally taught myself how to read via DC Comics. So, I mean, the DC Universe is is my history. Sure. Yeah, I lived it. <laughs> that's fair. I mean, that's why I started playing. I was getting real into DC Comics. I haven't really stayed reading them, but for a little while there, I got, was starting to get real into it. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to try a DC Comics game when I saw the advertisement for it. And it just kind of was the perfect storm for everything, which, you know, um, doing this podcast and everything else was something I would have never imagined doing for a game. And it was, it's been super fun. And, you know, I think it's helped a lot of aspects of my life, public speaking and oh, know, yeah. being in front of a microphone. Um, it's helped so much. I completely agree. Well, it's, it's funny. After I quit doing graphic design for a living in 2001, not really 2000, I didn't do any graphics for literally 15, 16 years until DCL got me back into graphics. I was I so burned out, I couldn't stomach the idea. Yeah, because you did the original arts for the RB5 showcases. Yep. Um, I think the first three or four of them I had you it's do. It's a good art. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I simplified it after the fact just so that it was less time consuming and um yeah but yeah, it was, was money out of your pocket yeah that too it, it was good art though it was good art um what was I gonna say yeah the the microphone thing I agree like I am very grateful to DC Legends and its community for helping me like understand what it feels like to be uh, miniature YouTube influencer, you know, building a channel, building my like, if you go back right now before I um, private a lot of those videos and look at my first set of videos they are absolutely trash compared to what I grew into um, in the later stages of my YouTube career um, I had a lot of fun making little sex jokes and stuff and enjoying like the comedy side of it and I felt comfortable doing that and my video editing video editing skills kind of took off I learned about like all these other like websites and tools that could help like Fiverr um, and I'm I think hate you and I still use the same video editing software Filmora 9 yeah. because you were the one who told me about it um, yeah it's it's been a super cool like learning experience uh, as well yeah, I definitely. I, if nothing else, those skills from audio, video editing, publishing, you know, will serve me well in the future for anything in the future, which is which is fun. And then just, you know, having a, like you said, being a little mini YouTube influencer is, was, is a fun experience because you don't get to do that in 
it was an adrenaline nice. rush. Like the first two years, every time I posted something, I would like keep a <clears throat> sharp eye on comments and likes and view counts, and it was an it was an adrenaline junkie rush. Like it was like dopamine forever and eventually you know you do get desensitized to it but it took a long time for that to happen see that didn't um, for me i was always so bad about responding to comments or like i would forget i even i would even i would forget to look for two weeks <laughs> but i have to say like that kind of created a weird vibe for you like it was like yeah. a, you were the pc legends celebrity in a way like even before i joined the owls and started my own youtube thing like you were like holy shit, hate mail just commented on my thingamabibble. Um, I should go look at that. And I felt like special because of that. So I feel like if we helped spread that love to other members of the community, then I'm happy with that. Yeah, it was, it was fun. I really, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed <clears throat> doing this podcast. Like I said, we're going to keep doing it probably for DC Heroes and Villains. The problem is there isn't as much to talk about. I wanted to do it weekly and then I realized probably not possible to do weekly in that game because there just isn't enough but i think bi-weekly you know twice a month yeah, I mean, we're down the once a month with the other one so i saw your one or two video like there's one with um a two-face thumbnail and one with like a halloween thumbnail and that was all i've seen so far yeah we've only done the two episodes so okay before i knew hate mail or was before i even you know my first conversation with him i knew of him by typing in Google "hate mills legendary order," mm. <laughs> yeah, that that's was how I. That's, that, <laughs> yep, that was the most popular thing. I, in fact, <laughs> when I stopped keeping up with that, um, that was I got more messages about that than I have anything else. Like nobody, nobody was worried about the podcast or anything else. It was the legendary order. <laughs> so, I nagged really about weird. that quite a bit myself. Oh, I I, I would get. Like, when new characters come out, if I hadn't updated it in about a week, I'd have, like, 30 Discord instant messages and Reddit messages saying, hey, are you going to update that soon? <laughs> so. I'm, I'm sure I was one of them, for sure. Yeah. It only slightly bothered me, because it transferred over to me a little bit. Like, if I didn't include a legendary order in a, in a 2D <laughs> tune, fucking eight of my 12 comments were, what's the legendary order? What is the legendary? I'm like, dude, I don't know. Like, I play a specific type of way. You probably play a very specific type of way. Like, I believe in you. You can look at it and figure it out. I promise. <laughs> I mean, but it's true though, because there was some a lot of times if you didn't like, you, so on paper it looks like, oh, this would be great, and then you use it, you're like, oh, this doesn't do what it says it was gonna do, or it doesn't yeah, work the, the way you are think definitely... it's. Well, even outside the bugs, even it just this doesn't work the way you think it would. I mean, just a random question, though. If everyone did their legendary orders based on their own way to play, do you think the game could have been different at all? I mean, I everybody's tunes. More. I mean, every, everybody's tunes were based on like what the, uh, for lack of a better word, elitists chose for their legendary. Order. Yeah, but you figure. I mean, even though it, you know a large chunk of the community use that as a guidance i'd still have a lot of people say well okay what you chose last is probably trash so well, at least we know not to waste our point on that but most people would get to three or four so they'd just leave one off and then even then how many people of the amount of people that actually play the game followed it so maybe a couple thousand versus the thirty thousand that actually played so it's yeah. still a small subsection if you it was always easy for me man i just went to the legendary order I, if i saw it i copied it and it always works oh, out I think Hate's point is there's a large portion of the audience that's not in the or player base that's not in the Discord, Reddit, Facebook community. Correct. They just play the game. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and then you figure yeah. the top players anyway. We're all L five or higher. So it doesn't matter what we picked. Right. If you if you stopped maxing your character out at like L two, that's the only time it would really matter. Yeah, and then you know those people are not playing super competitively anyway. So not anymore. I mean, everybody's almost got every you know, all RB fives. <laughs> yeah, it's just I need to go back to the legendary order. I'm gonna do that like as soon as we get off this call and just change everything to one, two, three, four, five. That would take so much work. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just typing. I'll just do copy and paste. There you go. That's fair. 
<laughs> it would be fitting for the end. I mean, I, there's so many tools though that are like going to go to waste now. Like the, um, I have a couple guides. Um, I made an Excel sheet years ago about like what characters had what abilities and stuff, and it was like a a grid system like um, X Y uh, use you know B four is cheetah and bleed you know stuff like that yeah. and that's that to be fair that one hasn't been used in like literally years but um like there's so many different examples of that like even dcl toolkit dcl oracle um the uh what should i call it all these other types of videos that were mainly used as tutorials as they're all going away useless now yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad. <clears throat> Depressing thought, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Go on. I, I would, I've I, got a question for you guys. Yeah. What was the point where you realized from something someone commented that you were, you realized you were a voice in the community? Um, for me, mm. for me, I was in a Discord chat and Dead Man commented, Oh, I never look at Reddit. I just look for Silver Fox. He knows everything. And I was like, holy shit, I'm somebody. That would be nice. Yeah, I, I don't know if there was an aha moment for me, but um, I think when view counts started to get above 2,000 uh, on specific videos, like if you go back to my Dark Side video, last time I checked it had like 6,000 views, and I'm going to go... Check on it right now. I'm gonna see what my highest viewed video is because that sounds like a fun thing to do to depress yeah, me. Yeah, I've never more. done that either. I want to take a look. Woody, I remember your 2,000 subscribers celebration event thing that I think I made your image for it for you, didn't I? Um, maybe I thought I did. I didn't. I remember doing one for 2,000. Maybe I did. Um, I definitely did a 1,500 for 1,500 event for charity and oh by the way can i just plug this real fast i'm still sure. doing that unicef fundraiser um which is more value more uh not valuable but the more relevant now due to the you know conflict going on i won't go into details on that we don't need to get that way but it'd be helpful to the world if we all donated to that a little bit but um, yes, my dark side video has 8.7 thousand views, which is um, pretty awesome. Trigon got up to 4.2 thousand in the 11 months that he has been out, which is because the dark side video is two years old and he has double the views. So that's pretty cool. I, I enjoy that. Daddy, um, 4.4 thousand or 4,400, sorry, um, views, which is. A lot for him, I thought. And then Batman Who Laughs is also at 4.3 thousand. Those two think, characters weren't very popular, so I'm really surprised that they were that popular of a video. My top video I just looked was back in 2019, 10 worst characters in DC Legends. And mm. had 10,900 views. That sounds about right. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay. And then I had the next highest one was Meta Teams of May 2020, and it had 7,600. There you go. I mean, that's like a clickbait video a little bit for us, which is nice. Yeah. And then the next one was DC Legends Ultimate New Player Guide Part 1. That had 7,600. What's the next? Uh, keep in yeah, mind with this, when you look at the raid stats, um, the early raids were getting just under 40,000 players. Yeah. So if you've got 10,000 views, you're getting a quarter of the of the uh, player base, really. Yeah, yeah. I should have did more ten worst top five and stuff because when I'm looking, like all the top videos were, you know, where I listed top five most OP player characters and stuff like that. There is a player doing that right now. Uh, On his name, Angry Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's doing that right now. Yeah, he's been doing a lot of those. Yep. So what was? Uh, uh, before we wrap this up, because I don't have too much more time, what would, if you could say, Zuzu, let's start with you, one moment, your favorite moment in DC Legends? 
My favorite moment, man. I, I don't want to say a favorite moment. I kind of want to piggyback off what Tootie's been saying. Okay. My favorite thing about DC Legends was really the community starting DC Ofuri and learning from being nothing to to my first uh, banner images where, you know, honestly, the man himself right here, Silver Fox, mentored me from the very beginning. He's, you know, he showed me what to do and the tools that I used, uh, basically self-taught, you know, like my 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 banners, my, my uh, uh, PVP contest, even my little comic book video skits that I did, all self-taught and it was, a learning experience, man, and that was some of the favorite one, uh, one of my favorite things to do. How about a contest all... that you did, or a PvP, or a siege, or a raid? Was there any one that stuck out for you that you? Of course, man. Of course, what couldn't stand out more than the owl beat the owls challenge? I mean, one thousand dollars to beat the owls. It was a two month contest, and nobody could do it. What five owls participated in this contest, sponsoring it? Yeah, each of you put five, a uh, hundred dollars in. I put a hundred in. The sponsor put a hundred in. Other people put a hundred in, and that was probably the biggest event, or definitely the most valuable event that we've ever done. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, and as far as other like PvP challenges. I'm doing my final one right now. We're in the semifinals. The semifinals ends in, in what, one hour. And then we got the finals coming tomorrow night. And that'll be the final PvP challenge of DC Legends. And guys, after seven years, it's going to go away in less than two weeks. Uh, it's gonna... sad. We'll, we'll definitely have a, a follow-up episode Ooh. after the game ends with a bunch of people. Um, I think that'd be really fun. Silver Fox, how about you? What's your favorite DC Legends moment? Maybe art that you did? Um, how, however you want to spin it. Oh, there's there's so many small moments. There's so many places where um, personal history, my family are teachers. My sister is a sixth generation teacher. My first best destiny would be the classroom. So like helping Zoo helping other people, you know, um, setting up the P.O. Arrows Alliance in memory of a an alliance mate who passed and setting it up as a teaching people not to make the same stupid mistakes we made. And then when people would come to me and say, hey, man, I love being part of P.O.'s, but I really need to be in one of the big dog alliances because I'm a better player. Um. I think it's a matter of feeling like I've made a difference in the community. Um, in the game, the game is the game. Um, you know, we all liked hitting our first L5 and our first RB5, but like the day that Deadman commented on, that I told about the Deadman, or when Bizarro came to me and said, Hey man, I'm doing some videos. I want you to do my video co uh, covers. Um, and then the day he he handed me the the leader's discord and said, "I want you to do this because I can't do it anymore." Um, things like that, uh, where I've I've helped people, where I've advised, counseled, you know, been a shoulder when someone got in an argument with their spouse and they just needed someone to talk to. Um, those moments are the ones that are nearest and dearest to my heart. It's definitely, it's been a great game, great community. Most of you all know my story with the whole cancer nonsense and uh, sitting in hospital rooms playing and chatting with the alliances in Discord or line chat we used to use back in the day. Um, you know, just got a lot of, there's a lot of people who have a lot of rough stories where this this game was a great distraction for that. And yeah, uh, well, so that, that, that part of it will be sad to, to lose. But most of us, I think, have friendships that will probably survive past the game. We, we may not all talk as much as we used to if we don't have like that common bond. 
but I could see most people checking in from time to time. You used to kind of still see that with people that have left for a long time, and then they kind of pop in and check in on everybody. So, Oh, well, it's funny you mentioned your cancer stuff. Um, I think I met you after that, or quote-unquote met you. But uh, I had two strokes, and while laying on a gurney in the emergency room, I was playing DC Legends. I mean, what, there's nothing better to do in the hospital. So yeah, I, mean, I, had, I had two knee replacements, and I was playing DC Legends in the recovery room. You know, as soon as I woke up, they handed me my iPad and messaged my, my alliance and said, hey, guys, I'm awake. Surgery went well. I'm going back to sleep now. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the cool thing is that, you know, you feel the need to even say that to people you never met in person, at least most of us, um, but you've only met online and... You know, it's 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 real friendships, which you know can't be discounted. So, well, also right. part of that is I've got two alliance mates that are here in town. I saw one of them yesterday in the parking lot of my apartment complex. Oh, that's he awesome. came, by, came by to see me, and another one in my alliance. She and her husband kidnapped me to take me to Nashville for a Renaissance Festival weekend. Because they wanted to thank me for helping them when we all work together in insurance. You know, it's like, it's just. Well, if you come to a renaissance in Florida, definitely hit me up because I want to try one. I'm a recovered New Yorker. I have no interest in going to South New York. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, if you do end up in one, or maybe even Georgia, I could, uh. Well, the Georgia Festival hard. runs uh, up until Labor Day weekend, and it's just outside of Hotlanta. Well, there we go. I'm actually going to go up to Helen, Georgia here uh, next week. So Cool. Tootie, how about you? Um, along with what Silver Fox is saying, um... It's also it's been a weird like goal of mine to actually like meet one of you in person. Like you came to South Dakota a couple of months ago, I feel like, didn't you? And that I was, was like, like a year ago almost, but yeah, I mean, still that's relatively recently in DCL yeah. terms. Um, I was gonna go to New Orleans uh, for Mardi Gras this last year, and I was gonna stay with Zubaz, but that didn't happen. And then um, I went to Omaha like a month ago and I texted AB and I was like, AB, you want to hang out for a minute? And that didn't happen. So it never happened, sadly. But oh, man, you're getting abandoned, bro. You, you, you should come to Toronto, bro. You come over and stay with me if you want. I bet. <laughs> um, so that was always something I thought about trying to do. But and then um, as far as I did meet Luke, which. Well, you and Luke were like best friends, I feel like. At least you yeah. acted like it. I'll tell you what, Tootie, if you come to Toronto, it will happen, okay? <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> um, well, to be fair, Hate Mail went to the literal other side of the state. Like, he did not come to my side. Yeah, it was like four hours four. away. So. Yeah, it was a long time. And ride. I was, like, going through a very bad period yeah. with the now ex-wife, so. Right. No, I'm not worried about it. But um, as far as DCL memories go, I have actually quite a few. Like, the the time that Rachel Ghoul got reworked and most of the suggestions that I made were actually accepted and used was really nice. I wasn't even in the NDA, NDA group at that point. Um, the And first... as you can see now, just one quick side tangent. Now that you see how the NDA group actually worked, you were better off not being in the group getting your stuff approved. So, I mean, I had a couple wins, but it was few yeah. and far between, yeah. Um the um the first drinking stream i did with du Bois was ridiculous it was fun but it was like i had half a bottle of rumplements in my fridge and i drank all of it during <laughs> so that disgusting <laughs> it was three hours of um people donating to have us take shots of <laughs> our liquor and I had, after that stream was over, I literally went and sat in my parents' living room. I reclined a chair and the world just spun for three hours. Um, and then I, I remember you up. saying that you had like the worst hangover ever. So. It was very, because Rumble Mints is like pure sugar. Oh, that's, so, yeah, Rumble Mints is just yeah. disgusting and terrible. So I was just, I, I spun for three hours and I threw up for three hours. My parents were not very pleased because um, I was living with them at the time. I do not know, I no longer live with them, thankfully. Um, and then the 1500 for 1500 we raised $900 for 
for charity. Um, I think it was for Doctors Without Borders at the time. And that is very relevant to today as well. Um, so yeah, there's there's been a lot of, I felt like, good moments in DCL. Well, if you want to get charities that are near and dear to our hearts and relevant today, especially with the occupant of the White House, you know, Alzheimer's is an awesome thing to support the foundation. Absolutely it is. Um, I would say for me, my two, my biggest podcast memory, this one just always comes back to my brain. I'm going to have to dig it up because it's just, you want to talk about terrible podcasts early on? Me and Slow Beast doing our early on podcast were just, well, the, nobody got the joke, but I still, it just makes me laugh thinking about it, was we did on the ver- the third episode, we did a best of podcast, going back and doing the memories of the first two episodes. So we, I did that as a joke, but then it was even more funny because no one got the joke. Like people were just like, like nobody made any comments regarding it at all. And I'm just like, why doesn't anybody find this funny? But it was we were just being completely stupid. So I don't know why. That just makes me laugh every time I think about it. And then um, I would say the in-game, the the month that really, like, I thought was one of the most fun was when Artemis and Cersei came out. And that was out my worst month with spending because I took them both RB5 that month. And it was just horrifically painful. And this was before Tap Joy was a real thing. Uh, but then I was able to make a team that was like one of the best defensive teams I ever had. And I was the only person that could make them all for RB five at the time. So it was just really fun with the community having a hard time with a non normal OP meta team. Yeah. So that was entertaining for like the three weeks that it lasted. And then, uh, and then uh, the Fire and Ice month, I really had a good time with that month because they both surprised me at how good they were. I took them both RB five at the, out of the gate. And they were just cool animations, cool characters, and they could hold up just well enough that they were usable in the meta. So those were those are some of the more fun periods. Oh, and then the other thing I really enjoyed doing was when I was on my Wonder Girl tangents was making my Wonder Girl solo, where oh, she yeah. soloed teams. I had so much fun making those videos, like trying to beat teams of four with just her or her with one other character. Because you succeeded I, so many times. Yeah, it took a lot of work, but it was really fun. I believe uh, that. Those, those were those are some of the more entertaining periods. I feel like the Cersei. I remember because I was like I was there for the Cersei in the Artemis month. Um, I was like deep in the owls at that point. I feel like, and um, it made me laugh because like a very few months later, um, either Castaway got reworked to a higher speed or. Black Flash must have come out or something, but Cersei was almost irrelevant, like yeah. within six months. And then um, Artemis like got power crept also within a year at least. It was so fast, like yeah, those two were made almost worthless really quick. But Artemis was so good for a brief period. Yeah, it's weird because she still stacks like shit tons of buffs, and even if you have her RB five, like she still does like no damage. Yeah. She's she's I, I can't even remember the last time I've even looked at her as a character. I mean, didn't Azrael also have the same problem? Stacking strength no. ups, but you couldn't really That man has never He has never fallen off. He's pretty power crap now, but he's he's still usable. Artemis is like so unusable that I forgot she was in the game unusable. He spent two grand that month and he still didn't remember her. Imagine him being his ex girlfriend. I spent a lot more than two grand that month. <laughs> I spent can a lot I add, more than two grand that month. <laughs> can I add something about what I'm going to miss doing? Sure. What's that? I mean, no, I mean you, you guys talk about streams and podcasts, and I mean, all of you know that I've never done streams or podcasts. You know, like I'm, I'm a guest in one of your, your guys' own podcasts and whatnot, but mm-hmm. I am going to miss acting a fool on camera and posting videos of me acting a fool with my Batman mask and and screaming in the and mic. For the audience and, out there, um, yeah, Zuzu has his camera on and he's wearing a Batman mask. Yes, I do. If this I'm gonna, gonna miss be, doing that, it's gonna be one of the few communities where that is acceptable. If you do that at work, <laughs> they'll be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" 
<laughs> Actually, my work has a costume contest. Uh, oh, not this week, but next Thursday. Hell yeah! Oh, there you go. So, yeah, I need to go shopping for a costume. I haven't done that. Yet. Yeah, I, I I got my Superman costume, so I'm gonna. I'm doing Riddler again this year, but that. I bought a better costume because the girl I'm dating wants to do Poison Ivy because she's Ooh. a big Poison Ivy fan. That's hot. So. Yeah, and she has red hair, so it actually works perfect. Go. Oh, that's going to look nice, man. I want to see some s- pictures. Oh, I'll definitely send some. And then my uh, brother-in-law and sister are going as... Um, he's going as the nurse joker, and she's going as Catwoman. So. Are you oh, still- the Heath Ledger? Heath Le- uh, Ledger nurse joker? Yes. When he blows up the hospital, that's a good one. That's actually my uh, visual of Joker on his Discord. Because he's he's worked in mental health. Yeah, that is that is, <laughs> and almost almost would look kind of like him too. So. Yeah, I mean he uh, he even had the green hair. Yeah, he he's really been quiet lately. Like weird. I think quiet. he's more in mourning than I am. Well, he's really into the Star Wars Galaxy game or whatever that is. Galaxy of Heroes, yeah. Yeah, yes. I've tried yes. to play that. It's- uh, he's been playing that forever now, you know. It's yeah, but he's really as he like went full gorilla into that is what he was saying. It's yeah. I don't know. Star Wars just bores the hell out of me. Like the whole movies and everything about Star Wars. I mean, everyone's saying that it's like DCL. I mean, it's for me. I mean, even well, the Star is. Wars, the, the it's still the gameplay for you know Star Wars or LOTR. Um, even if it is like DCL. You really got to be a fan of that to want to commit to it, you know. And I'm just not there for either one of them. I saw the movies. I liked the movies. That was the, they were all great and stuff, but I just can't carry it like that. See, I'm not in the Star Wars at all. Lord of the Rings, I could potentially get into, but I, I just I don't really want to get into another game that is yeah. one that is expensive. I, I'll never spend on a mobile game like I did for DC Legends. That was a one one time special occurrence. Mm-hmm. It would never happen again. Agreed. That was just stupid. But and, also, like, if you want to be an influencer, you have to spend. You know, like, if you want. Yeah, and I really don't need to be an influencer. So. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, the podcasts are fun. I like talking to you guys, but you know, I I long ago could care less if it gets a wide reach or not. You know, and just yeah. Well, for me, when I when I started playing DCL, I actually saved money because prior to that. I was hanging out with blues bands and I would sing back up in harmony sometimes and I'd spend 100, 150 a week in a bar between food and drinks and went to DCL and started spending 100 a month. <laughs> it's like, See, my problem I- is, is I'm going to do both. Like I'm going to go out and have dinner and drinks and stuff regardless of whether I'm playing DCL or not. DCL is just going to add expense to it. Well, for me, I had no choice about quitting the bar scene because I don't drive anymore. It's kind of hard to do that when you don't drive. <laughs> yeah, it's Uber. Yeah, Uber, Lyft. I'm a Lyft yeah, driver. I spent, I spent 35 bucks for a six-mile ride today on Uber because I hit a surge. And it's like, mm. no, Uber is not the thing. Well, I have to do it because the whole DUI thing. So <laughs> You have to do it. You have a D- Oh. No, I don't have a DUI. I mean, I don't want to get a DUI. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. I thought you were like, I have, I got a DUI. I can't drive anymore either. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. shit. No, you know how it is in this, my industry. It, yeah, I wouldn't have a job if I got one, so. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I used to work in car insurance, so you get a DUI, you lose your license. Yeah. It's not just your job. It's no one in the industry can hire you. Yep. I work in an industry where DUIs are the normal, so. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> like, I it's still not good to get one. They're very expensive, and yeah, you know, I've had three coworkers that literally walk or bike to work even in the winter time just because <laughs> they cannot legally drive. That's not great. Yeah, no, it's not. Well, guys, I do need to get wrapping this up because I have a few things I got to do before I leave tomorrow. So, hey, Mel, let me say one last thing, man. Yeah, before you wrap it up, okay. This one's going out to the community, so anyone and everyone who's hearing this right now, hear it right now. For the last few days, I, along with a few other people, have been working on a farewell video. 
Some of you have seen one of my farewell videos, thanking a lot of people who are actually even here right now. 2D, Silver Fox, uh, WROL, and along with a list of a lot of people. It was a farewell video using the farewell skin, Superman, and whatnot. It was kind of a gif. Uh, 2D, you've seen this, right? Yeah. You've seen that video. I have another one coming right, with a few people who helped me. One of them, again, Silver Fox. Thank you so much, man, with all your character cutouts and uh, your advice and, and your tips. Hey, man, you made this video happen. Hate mail, your editing, you, you man, you, you perfected it. And I can't wait for the community to see it. I'm going to release it on Friday. I hope that it's going to be a minute that uh, you guys will enjoy instead of a minute that you guys can get back. You know what I mean? Well, uh, people listening to this, you'll have already seen it. So. <laughs> That, yeah. um, oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So it's coming out at the last day. So this is going to be like a five hour episode. Oh. Maybe I'll break it up. Maybe I should re release them in stages. You probably should. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm going to let you vote on it right now. Should I release this soon and break it up in the stages? Or well, I am releasing this video on Friday night. So. But it will uh, not be up before Friday night. So I am going to release it on Friday. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure if they have. If everyone, if everyone already saw it by then, all I got to say is I really do hope you enjoyed it. It is a <laughs> farewell video and a hello video for enough for something else. I don't want to spill too much, but again, man, it was really great work. Um, I mean, two of you here can attest that it's a pretty nice video. Can't wait. Yeah, I think those scenes of the inside of your script club look pretty awesome. Yes, yes, that was, I got that one right from GTA Five, the strip club from GTA Five. There you go. Oh, and those, hey, uh, uh, hey, before you go, um, <laughs> since Zoo got to give a final Asta, uh, let me just say to the community, to the devs, thank you guys. Uh, anyone that that I've done something for, you guys have given me far more than I could ever have asked for. Um, you guys have helped me keep my sanity dealing with strokes, knee replacements, and Alzheimer's disease. And I am kind of terrified with the new adventure, but uh, I appreciate the fact that I could be part of your lives, part of your week, part of your day. Um, so thank you all for everything you've given me. Yeah. Thank you, Silver Fox. 2D, final words? Um, I mean, similar note. I'm appreciative that, to have had an audience that actually cared to watch um, the things that I put out, and that was important to my self-esteem for a little bit. But um, now we're, we all got to move on together and uh, find a new passion. So I hope everyone is capable of finding that for themselves. Well, everybody, I won't say final goodbye because I still have like 19 more final goodbye episodes to do, but we appreciate it. I probably will do these in stages, so I might release this one first. 2D sent me a message that made a lot of sense that no one's going to watch or listen to a five-hour episode, so I probably will release these. I will not be able to get this out before Friday because I'm leaving tomorrow for several days, so probably about okay. early next week. Um but we will, uh, yeah, so episode, we'll say this is episode one of the DC Crisis, Infinite Crisis. How do you pronounce it, Zuzu? Crisis on DC Legends. Yeah, Crisis on DC Legends. So yes. we will have this as part one. Check out the next episodes. There'll be several coming out with lots of casts of characters of DC Legends, but I'm glad I was able to get you three on. It's been a little hard to wrangle people up. So this will be the first. And I'm sure we'll probably circle back with everyone here once DC's been long gone for maybe a couple weeks to a month and see how everybody's feeling. So with that, take care, everyone. Until next time. Hey, everyone. It's Tootitron. Thank you for listening to WROL Broadcasts. If you like the show, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash WROL Broadcasts. You guys think if I go out of my way next siege to lose to hate a bunch, that he might send me those dirty socks of his? I hope so.